All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is Race War. This is coming from the artist Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. Uh, we have the lyrics pulled up just in case we need them. Let's go and check it out, guys. It's okay to be racist, as long as you hate on the Caucasians. Teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe I'm tripping because the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys in the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it. Right. Um, the thing about that is, is that the same people that are teaching that very specific thing are the same ones teaching that masculinity should basically be erased uh, in, in its current. In, in, how about this? In its previous state. Um, yeah, bro. I mean, we get it. That they got white privilege by the white guys and the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it because I'm not allowed to have pride in it because the colonizers and the white biggest made white history my business. I ain't never gonna give a damn if you like me. I ain't gonna trip when they stereotype me. I'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that all lives matter. Fight me when I was younger. They taught me to never see color to treat every man as if he was my brother. But now that we're grown up, we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer. They come for cuddle, we run it for cover. The government wants us divided and dumb or addicted and drug in the gutter, so we never wake up and never recover. The government wants us addicted, divided, dumber, addicted, and drunk in a gutter, I think that's what he said, guys. Uh, yeah, probably. Listen, the more that we can be pacified, the better. Seriously. If we can pacify ourselves, even better. Right? Um, that's less of a threat. I understand that, guys. I mean, if everyone is absolutely dumb, like they have no idea what's actually happening in front of their face because they're worried about something as like something ridiculous as uh, the largest organ on, on the human body. Yeah, that's a little. Yeah, 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 guys. Absolutely. Media is an interesting thing. Uh, and obviously this is being, uh, you know, um, propagated by the media and it has it does have the ability to proliferate in in many small pockets around the United States of America. Uh, we will absolutely always, unfortunately, uh, my opinion, uh, be stuck in this absolute ridiculous battle in the United States of America. I'm telling you, bro. Why don't we run it for cover? The government wants us divided and dumb or addicted and drunk in the gutter so we never wake up and never recover. Call me culture vulture cause I rap good I don't pop tans or smoke backwoods But they call me a wigger and live with me Hitler and hate like I'm wearing a clan hood It ain't left or right or black or white It's good and evil I leave folks hate homo people you Absolutely It's good, evil If you are good, you're good If you are bad, you're just bad, bro And there are absolutely bad people On like, in like, within both shades of skin, guys Absolutely United we stand and divide and we fall America, we gotta get real You were segregated, that was not fair You were enslaved, they did not care But you were never on a plantation And my generation was not there That's trauma in your DNA Causing what we see today I pray to God you staying strong Don't want to see no man And pain your white folks Yeah, guys Um Ooh, that's heavy Uh, yeah it, it Absolutely, is trauma Like the The Unfortunately, let's let's separate this here, guys, uh, because I'm absolutely black American. And I don't really fit into the overall common typical portrayal. Let's say that's in media, at least. Um, if we talk about specifically ghettoized black Americans, I can definitely tell you it's trauma. Like they have not been able to escape the the, the chains. I'm going to say it, guys. They have not been able to escape. Um, the history of their grandmother telling them stories, right? Uh, or their fathers telling them stories, guys. Uh, they just have not been able to just move on past that to the point where they then victimize themselves on a regular basis but, uh, by keeping themselves mentally in chains um, to in a way that it's absolutely crazy to the point where when they start making, when, when these ghettoized black Americans unfortunately start making a lot of money, the first thing you do is go ahead and put the chains back on their neck. Think about that. All right, let's get it. Hey, causing what we see today, I pray to God you staying strong. Don't want to see no man in pain. Your white folks are embarrassed. Some of y'all are such Karens. That prejudice you inherited was racism from your parents. Get that poison out your veins. Yeah. Whites and blacks are all the same. They want us in our graves. Just let me try to explain. I swear they want us in a race for dying every day for whose lives Those are union twos? All right, Adam. But that's a crazy thing to say, bro. But black, I you lose, might as well go get that. You 
gon' die before you 25 get shot over your shoes You gon' get killed by police even when you follow the rules If you listen to the news, you gon' believe all this is true Oh, okay, I was wondering, like, bro, that's that's all types of crazy to say, bro. But all right, it makes sense because yeah, absolutely, like, if you are absolutely, guys, if you are, are are focusing way too hard on the news, you're gonna think absolutely what exactly what he just said. That's a fact, and that in itself is then again victimizing, the, you know, and then adding you know, overall trauma. Then everyone else starts to trauma bond, and it just becomes the overall story of like inner city ghettoized black americans that's just how that or, or even deep south black americans like deep south like rural occasionally you know what i'm saying here guys True, i feel no white guilt don't lie for me when i'm killed i guess white lies don't matter sad but that's the way that i feel i feel like they feel like like i don't know what they all call me that's crazy to think that your life doesn't matter bro that's wild don't matter sad but that's the way that i feel i feel like they feel like like i don't know what they all call me this white man Bro, what army? <laughs> Let's get it. Call me cis white male bigot racist. He's a Nazi. That's not me. I'm not one of these white liberal commies who think black America needs allies and they on me. Your neighborhoods all gay and claim you pro black, but you faking guys are dying on the pavement. All your hashtags won't save them. That right. Like you're not, bro. You are absolutely not allowed to say you are are like pro pro black American. Let's see, because the people who are generally pro-black or exclusively black pro-black american of african descent guys generally how that works right um yeah yeah you can't say that and then not like put on blast your cousin who just did something absolutely crazy i'm sorry bro don't ask me to hold your secrets if you commit a crime if you commit a crime bro you, you're going to jail why would i want you out here walking around with other people so you can commit more crimes. <laughs> no way. Right? So listen. It's not. Guys, keep in mind, another issue is the overall separation. I mean, people just generally separate themselves in weird ways anyway. But in all actuality, yeah, there are many races on this planet. You guys understand, right? There are a lot of races everywhere. There just is. It is what it is. But how many races of people do you think that are actually watching this video? I can tell you right now. One. This one race, the human race. All right? But either way. Whites and blacks are all the same <laughs> They want us in that grave Just let me try to explain I swear they want us in a race for Dying every day for Whose lives matter more Whoa. I won't be dying in the race for Our government is paid for Cause our lives matter more Whoa. Really quickly uh, before the song ends here, guys, the video was filmed absolutely phenomenally, guys. Um, I would love to know what color shirt uh, Adam was wearing. Um, maybe green or, or blue. I think Tom has still some blue in his his uh, his jeans. But either way, guys, the video itself is amazing, right? I, I don't know what it was filmed on. It just looks it looks it just looks amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Looks really good. It's in a race war, dying in the streets. Should be us against them, but it's you against me. Ain't nobody gonna win. Everybody gon' see that the color of your skin don't change the color that you bleed. Right? I swear they want us in a race war, dying every day for whose lives Was that a Kate backdrop? 
It looks great. It looks it looks really good, by the way. Um, like I've always had so many issues with these with these. Uh, I'm not going to say Kate because I'm just gonna. I think it's Kate. I think it's a Kate backdrop, right? Either way, um, I've always struggled so hard with like keeping these like pressed, uh, like flat. And I'm sure on set you you know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> um, uh, maybe you had an iron or something, but congratulations on keeping it flat, right? I, maybe you may have even ironed it on the floor. That's how hard these backdrops are to kind of. <laughs> stay looking like this guys but all right overall guys the song itself was amazing no complaints here uh, anything that we can do to kind of have uh, an overall conversation right it's cool honestly because we need conversations because we need to move past this I mean, this is nonsense bro right like the concept of like disliking someone for the color of their skin is bro it's silly okay it's completely silly and a lot of it absolutely what tom said earlier um it is good versus evil right in my very specific personal opinion not opinion uh, experiences let's say uh, it has been more so about class even right um, i can definitely tell you that my experience has been class almost purely i've never really experienced well i have but like um before i left Spain. Before I left America in 2015, um, I was, I don't know, I, I, had, I had many like odd experiences getting pulled over like back to back, literally and pulling into my gated community. I don't understand that. But either way, it was back to back. It was like, every single day. But when I left and I came back, when I left Spain, when I left um, America for, um, for like seven years, um, then I started coming back you know, half the year and things like that. And I can definitely tell you that there's a difference, uh, there's, that there's been a massive shift. So there has been some type of like at least growth in this very specific situation. But a lot of it also had to do maybe with um, the areas, guys, keep that in mind. So again, it comes down to class for my, my, my very specific personal opinion and experiences at least, guys. Um, but either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. The song is great. No complaints here. Uh, filmed amazingly. As a matter of fact, we have 10 more seconds. All right. All right. Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.